Welcome back to the Man Cave. I'm the UP Gamer, and today we're going to play a new game called Calibria Crystal Guardians. Um, this is a lot like Raid Shadow Legends. It's a lot like Summoner's Roar. It has some different um, things you can do that, that I like that kind of improve on them. I'm not saying this is a better game. I'm just saying it has some different stuff that, that help it be easier to play. One of the things, um, say I'm going to do the Catacombs here. This is like uh, on on Summoner's War, like giants. Oh, so I got to refill. But they have this thing auto challenge here. What this does is it lets you do the battle five times in a row. So on Summoner's War, every time you do it, you know you get done in a minute to a minute and a half or whatever it is. Then you have to click go again. So you're rune farming. Every time you finish, you have to re-click it. Well, with this, this will run it five times. So, that's pretty cool. So, you, you click it, you put it in your pocket for five minutes or ten minutes, depending on how long it takes you to do it. You pick it up five, ten minutes later, hit it again, and it's farming for five or ten minutes. So, pretty nice little change there. Um, there are some other changes that I really like that you guys are going to like, too. And this is a big one. Summoning. Just like Summoner's War and Raid Shadow Legends. Um, but this one, if you look here at our Mystical Summoning Scroll, the chance of getting a 5 star is 1% instead of half a percent. So that's twice as much. Then with your 4 stars, instead of 8%, it's 10%. So you just have a better chance of always you know, getting higher level creatures and stuff like that. Um, and it's the same thing with the Light and Dark. So, even in Summoner's War, it's even less of a chance to get a 5-star Light and Dark unit. Here, it's still 1%, same as a regular uh, Mystical Scroll. So, that's pretty awesome. I really like that. I have already gotten one 5-star. And her name is Noctura. She's pretty good. She isn't the best. Um, I 6 star a different, different creature right away. This is my farmer. Um, so, that's why she's 6 starred. Alright, um, there are some other things. Um, there's something like the growth plan. It helps you level up faster. Um, I have spent a little bit of money, not a lot. Uh, maybe 10 bucks, maybe $15. But it really pumped up my amount of scrolls I got and helped me level faster. So I thought it was worth it, so I did it. You may or may not want to. Okay, and we are going to do some summoning. I know everyone always loves summoning uh, videos and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I got a lot of space. I have more scrolls than that summon, actually. I have 58 of these. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's hope for some uh, five stars. And this is what theirs looks like. Um, you're going to sell yellow, so I already got a four or five star. Did I get a five star on the first pull? <laughs> I love it. First pull, five star. Yeah, and I'm not even sure what she does. Well, heck, I should just be done. Enchantress. Go to her skills. Oh, that's another thing that's different. There's a skill tree here. So, she's got a leader leader skill. Awesome. Speed 24% for all units. Um, and then, once you level her up, or I'm not even sure. These might, yeah, they're already, they're not available yet. She has to learn them. So, when you go through battle, these will unlock. Um, charms the enemy, clear, clear their energy, stun them for one turn, and slow them for three turns. Wow. So that's like take their attack bar to zero and slow them for three turns. So unleash fire flux flame to attack random enemy six times. Each attack deals 150% of attack and damage and has 30% chance to steal 25% of the energy's energy. Energy. That's the attack bar. So that makes her that much faster. If the energy, if the enemy's energy falls below 15%, stuns them for a turn. Yeah, that's awesome too. Summons three fire fox, fox fires to attack an enemy. Each attack deals 125% of attack and damage. 40% chance to reduce target's energy by 25%. If the target's enemy falls below 50%, slow them. Yeah, so she's going to be real, real useful. Well, that was a hell of a first summon. Awesome. Well, moving on. I guess that's a start. So, um, you're going to see it's all blue, um, and then, so you see right at the end it was blue.
blue at the end, that's how you can tell you're getting a three star. If it's like the yellow or gold, that means you're going to get a four star or five star. So I got a Firefox. And I have already had most of the three star creatures. Another three star here, an alchemist. I've had her. And yeah, at the end of the video, I got a legendary and my first, this is my first summon of a light and dark that I'll do at the end of this video. So, mommy good, I need skill ups for him. And I'll kind of show you my teams in more videos to come. All right, another three star. The Assassin. Shrine Assassin. 53 to go. Yeah, I would do 10s. I just don't like, uh, I don't really care for doing the 10 at a time. I'd rather draw it out and see what each creature I get is. More food. I use the mummy basically in my Giant's B10 on here. It's called Colossus. Um, he's a dotter, so getting his skills up will definitely help. The Monk. Yeah, I would uh, suggest downloading this game. It's awesome. Um, it's a lot of fun, just like Raid Shadow Legends or Summoner's War. But, like I said, it's a little bit different. Another cool thing, um, there's just a bunch of stuff. I'll go over all of it in a different video, but I just wanted to get the summon video out. It's a griffin that is not like Bernard at all in uh, Summoner's War. He's much different. But there are creatures that are similar, that do similar things, that kind of stuff. Another druid. Jungle Heart. 48 to go. Come on now. So one in one in a hundred is basically a five star. But one in ten should be a four star. Cheetah. Alright, and we got another three star here, another cheetah. Yeah, I do need a bunch of uh, power-ups. You know, you start the game, they give you a healer, they give you an attacker. Um, you get a four-star to start. That's who I six-starred originally. She was a pretty good farmer for me. I haven't cleared all the farming yet, but a lot of it I have. Hydra. That's the first one of those I think I've had. And they got a monster index. You can look through all the monsters, that sort of thing. Another griffin. 44 to go. Oh, sweet. Another 4 or 5 star. Oh, I already actually have him. But I'm definitely going to keep him. He's a barbarian. He's not too bad. I haven't leveled him up yet. I was really working on my team. Come on now. Another 3 star. I've had a few of him. Alright. I can't believe that five star in the first pull. It's like, that's nice. Fire Beetle. Alright, what do we get here? Bin Folk. Alright, down to 40. 40 to go. Another three star. Oh, great. Yeah, she's a. <clears throat> this Windwalker is very Bernard-like. Um, she does a lot for, you know, speeding your team up, that kind of stuff. This ability, sends forth a blessed breeze, blessed breeze which grants 30% energy to all alleys and haste. So very Bernard-like. She's on my Colossus team. I'm only on Colossus B6 right now, but I'm real close to being on B7. Give me the gold. Another Hydra. Got spots for 25 more, and then I'll have to do a little bit of feeding. So, my mummy might be fully skilled up after this summon session. I'd be fine with that. Yeah, he's just a hardcore dot or dotter. All right, Rock Golem. Come on, gold. Do it. Nope. Gargoyle? Yeah, I've had him. Yeah, you do get a lot of summons at the beginning of this game, which is nice. Um, people are doing this re-roll thing where they re-roll uh, their account, try and get five stars, and I didn't do that.
All right. Uh, who's that? Cleric? Divine Priest. The first healer they give you is the Holy Cleric, I think. And I'll show you some of my my team. But I know everyone wants to see the summon, so... Come on, gold! Nope, another three star. Well, Jungle Heart, if I was uh, using her, that she would be very leveled up. Uh, lots of skills. Sweet gold. Fortune. I do not have him. Let's check him out. 30 summons to go. While I'm here, I'm going to feed some of these mummies to my mummy just to make a little bit of space. Yeah, he's got an ability called Maggot. <laughs> Sweet. So his skills... First one is uh, are all the way up now. So he'll every time he attacks with his first ability, he'll poison. Maggot will be... Well, he's got two left there and three left here. So he's getting closer, but maybe we'll get some more. Alright, where's my little dice man? What's he do? Throw two coins of fate and an enemy 290. If both coins are life side up, gain a bonus attack. Turn if both coins are death side up, increase damage by 1.5%. So he's throwing coins at people and they do different stuff depending on how they end up. So that's pretty cool. We'll read more in depth. If I get a 5 star again, I'll obviously read that. Alright. We got 20 spots left and 30 summons. Another three star. Keep giving me the mummies. Or the other stuff I need. Another fox. Another three star. My camera's a little... There we go. You can see me again. Sweet, another four or five. Wow, I guess it's uh, Barbarian Day. I would like to get different ones, please. Obviously, duplicates are going to happen. There isn't that many heroes in this game yet, but they're they're adding a bunch, I'm sure. Twenty six to go. Another Hydra. Twenty-five left. Gold. I keep saying gold. I feel like I should be talking like uh, what's his face there, gold member on uh, Austin Powers. Show me the gold. This guy kind of looks like Lucian, but he's a lot different than Lucian. Twenty-three left. Gold. Is that the Druid? No, Elven Archer. I, know, I think there's one called the Druid. Alright. Another card man. <coughs> yeah, I've been playing four days. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Four, three or four days only. That's a little goblin guy. We got ten more spots left. Then I'll have to do some feeding. Or I might have uh, room in my storage. Phantom Wolf. He does a lot of multi-attacking. Ah, the Harpy. She does, like, skill rebuffing, I think. If I remember correctly. <laughs> so, like, cooldown... Lowers everybody's cooldown on their abilities and stuff. Alright, come on, gold. Nope, another three star. I do have at least one more four star for sure, because I have a legendary summoning scroll. I will do that. Second to last, I'll do the light dark last. So, Elven Archer again. Five more, and then I gotta move people. 
I can't believe the first one. Yeah, this is the first time I've had her too. The white. She's kind of cool looking. Stinger for a tail there. I do look kind of like the art style. It's kind of kind of nice. Another three star here. Another assassin. Three more space left. Another cheetah. Two more. Second to last one, gold. Nope. Son of a. All right, last one. Then we gotta move move people around. Or feed. Gold. Five star. Ooh, it might be. Nope. Lumi. I do not have her. 40% chance to freeze. So you can freeze there. And, well, she's different. Alright, we gotta go move people. Heroes. Do we have room and storage? We probably do. just count see how many I got I do have enough room um, I need some more uh, 15 that should be plenty yeah we'll finish up the summoning session all right time to go all right another three star another harpy Sweet. Uh, more food. Alright. Gold, baby. I want the gold. Alright, what do we got left? Six? Five, six, something like that? Six. Yep, and then a light, dark, and a legendary. Come on, one more, one more. At least one more. Five to go, gold. That'd be a big negatory good buddy. Four to go, gold, nope. I have this guy, I'll be using this, this summon for food, flame mantis. He uh, does attack break on first skill and is skill one I'm gonna test him in the Colossus just for you know guaranteed attack break all the time divine priest two to go guys come on come on Bobby gold me oh, another Griffin last one last one give me another five star come on now nope bummer so I'm just going to go look how many did I end up with. So if we expand this a little bit, you can see. So I got the five star, wherever she went. There she is. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I had 58, so a little bit off pace, but it's not bad. One five star. Okay, now we got the legendary, and then we'll do the light dark glass. We are getting another one. Wish me luck. Five star. I know it's going to be gold. What's it going to be? Oh, the dice dude again. I, you know, it's like, give me something different at least. All right, now the rarest one. The light and dark summon scroll. This is the first one of these I've summoned. So this will be a new new creature, whatever it is. Hopefully it's something cool. Come on now. Do it. Do it gold. Nope. What do we get? An old man with the stick. Voodoo Walker. So we'll go check out his skills. The Voodoo Walker. 
Alright, throw a Cursed Orb filled with Dark Power at an enemy to deal 370% of attack and damage, 85% chance to poison. Witchcraft bursts forth from the ground and attacks five times at random. Each attack, 145% of attack and damage, 35% chance to dispel one buff from target, and replace it with damage reflection effects for two turns. Enemies with damage reflection will take 20% of their own damage when attacking. So, it's going to remove a buff and put damage reflection on them so when they attack, they take 20% of their whatever they hit your team for. So that's pretty cool. Um, throw toxins at all enemies two times each attack. 130% attack and damage to each enemy. 40% chance to affect targets with hit point, regen lock, and poison them for one turn. So it'll be... 50% chance when it's skilled up. Cast an ancient spell on an enemy which connects its soul with own for three turns. Under the stace status, when self takes damage, target will take the same amount of damage. When the target takes damage, restore equivalent amount of own hit, hit points. Damage dealt by soul chain will not restore own hit point. Okay, that's interesting. Upon being killed, 70% chance to deal 30% of attacker's max HP and fixed damage, ignores defense, and affects target with hit point regen lock for two turns. 70% chance to reduce all enemies' energy by 30 and stun them for one turn. So, interesting skills there. Alright guys, so I'm going to be playing this game. I will be posting more videos here about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Um, and please post your comments down below. We'll see you in the next one.